Welcome Procrast Creators. Have you ever tried to figure out the print and cut on your Cricut Maker? Today you will learn how. All right, the first thing that I want to tell you about is what not to do. Um, when I first printed off the print and cut material, I put it on a piece of transfer paper and then tried to put it on the t-shirt with the transfer paper. And as you can see, it got stuck to the transfer paper. So I ruined that shirt. So do not do that. Do not put it on a piece of transfer paper. You need to pull it off of the transfer paper that it's on and do not put it on anything else. Again, I tried it again. This time I thought, well, I hadn't put the heat on it yet. So maybe I can just pull it up, but no, it ended up, pulling off of the print. So here I'm showing you, I'm going back a step and showing you how I printed the material. So um, I took the print option from there. It of course printed out on my printer. Um, then I had to go back to the design space where I went into browse so that I could get the exact um, piece of vinyl that I was using and as you can see I'm scrolling down till I can get to the iron on vinyl section um, and when I get there I select um, the um, the iron on for dark colors um, so that it will cut and from there it cuts out my image so um, it prints it on the machine and then it, as you can see, it's doing a lot of searching. So it's trying to locate where everything is, I guess, gauging it, making sure everything is in the spot that it knows it needs to cut from. And so it's doing that now. So it does that for a little bit before it actually starts to cut. And then once it has figured out um, the layout of the paper and I guess making sure everything is where um, it believes it should be, then it actually starts to cut um, your image. I will tell you, I have not put that piece of a lion onto a t-shirt yet because it has cut each individual piece. Um, so I have to figure that out before I put that on. So that's why I was hoping that the um, the transfer paper would work, but it didn't. So, okay, so once you have your image and it's printed out and you've weeded it, you need to um, put your press, I actually have a press, I got the Cricut press. So you put that, um, you go over your shirt with that, um, and then you can lay your image down. For me, I like to measure just to make sure that my image is going to be centered or, you know, centered because I don't want it to be off or crooked. So I do a lot of measuring before I actually lay it down on my shirt. Um, for Im I think that image was somewhere around five inches down. Um, if I'm using letters, normally my letters are two and a half to three inches down. Um, so as you can see, I'm just kind of I, I kind of eyeball it and then I take my measuring tape and um, make sure that those measurements are correct. So, and then this had a lot of little pieces on the edges. So everything that I see so far or have seen so far um, on YouTube is all like one picture of a flower or just words where it doesn't have all of these little pieces to it. So um, that was a, an interesting little thing, trying to make sure just everything lays down flat and nothing is curved over when you put that press on top of it. So just be really careful um, with that. Uh, once you have everything to your liking, I just put a piece of... Um, I guess paper over top of it that actually came in the pack. So I put that over top of it and did the 30 seconds on the Cricut, um, which of course I'm not going to show you the whole 30 seconds because that's a lot to be watching. But anyways, as you can see, it turned out pretty good. And I just wanted to show you really quickly the steps again. So you put your heat over top 
um, you get your take your image off of the transfer paper that it was printed on then you stick it on your shirt where you would like to have it um, once you do that you measure it again to your specific um, specifications um, after you do that as you can see I was using some print and cut as well as just some regular vinyl on this particular shirt so once you've done that you can put your press on um, as you can see one of my letters it's only a nine by nine press so I had to go back and do one of the letters on the mr. fish um, but there you have it it is wonderful um, so if you like this or if this was helpful please subscribe 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 below I'm gonna also put the links to the heat transfer paper that I use thank you and I'll see you next time